what up guys it's me christina i am back with another video today and in this video i will be sharing with you guys a bunch of stuff that we purchased from the thrift store from warehouse sales from estate sales for the homes because as you know in my last video i announced that we purchased our very first home in 2020 so it wasn't an end-all be-all of a year an interesting year to say the least but you know some positives came out of it a blessing for sure and that's honestly what we've been occupied with it's keeping us busy and focused with house renovations design buying furniture everything you name it so going into 2021 it's a new year i'm going in with a positive mindset just just kind of taking 2020 as a lesson and just moving forward so yeah i'll leave it at that if you guys are interested to see what i have purchased or collected over the past few months from the thrift store then just keep on watching all right guys so let me apologize for the hair it is kind of wet but i don't plan on waiting for it to dry before i film this video so let's just get started <laughs> all right so the first item that i have to show you guys is this cute little vase look at this it's as big as my hand or as small as my hand <laughs> i love this thing it's the shape the texture the color needs some work for sure it screams 80s to me definitely doesn't go with my decor but i think with a little makeover it will be just as good as new see that's the thing like if you have an eye for these things you can find cheap things at the thrift store that you can turn into really nice pieces that you can use to decorate around the house essentially turn some trash into treasure that's what i love about the thrift store so affordable if you have an eye for it and you're also sustainable because you're reusing old pieces that people no longer want so i'm definitely going to be upcycling this which you guys will see in a future video i plan to put some bunny tails and baby breath in there i think that will definitely elevate the look so i can either put it on the dining table or decorate those shelves back there the floating shelves i'm not sure if you guys can see behind my head but there is nothing on there <laughs> so i need to work on those the next item is this acacia dish it looks like it's supposed to be for sauce and it's made in the philippines because the tag is still right here so i think that's awesome acacia wood is super popular i feel like in scandinavian design they use a lot of natural elements and it looks handmade it probably was handmade to be honest but i feel like people use this for a lot of different things people use it for their rings by the sink when they're washing dishes so they take off their rings and put it in here or you can use it as a catch-all i will be using it for my jewelry you can either use it on your nightstand or on your dresser layer it with some vases or glass elements and i think it would just look super cute so aesthetic um, the next thing is this cute frame i love this frame it's really good quality too it's really really heavy and it has this antique gold just vintage design i believe you can hang it or you can just like let it stand i love this thing i got this at an estate sale if you don't like the hunt of going to the thrift store or you think it's a waste of time go to instagram instagram during the quarantine so many small shops and small businesses started popping up where they curated pieces thrifted pieces and it honestly takes the work out of it for you so obviously they're gonna charge a little bit more because they're doing the work for you but i think it's a great place to find pieces because it's kind of already picked out for you the next two pieces are these bowls i got them for a dollar each and these are from the hearth and hand brand so if you guys are familiar with fixer upper and joanna Gaines, that is her uh target collaboration brand and i love these they're so like obviously you can use them to eat <laughs> but i am using them to decorate our shelves with they're really heavy good quality they're made from stone they're matte black and they're really smooth but what stuck out to me mostly about them is their imperfections like how it looks handmade i think that's what i lean more towards just like a more handmade imperfect style the next few items i have are glassware so i'll start off with these three i like to call them shot glasses i'm not sure what they're supposed to be for but i got three of them they're so cute i could not pass them up they're in this cute smoked yellow color smoked glass fluted glass very popular again um, you'll find a lot of these trends and the thing with trends is that they were popular in the past and eventually they come back same thing with fashion same thing with interior design but yeah got three of these or i prefer getting sets of four but i'm sure it was picked over so by the time i got there i just grabbed what i could the next two pieces of glass are these 
tiny wine glasses like girl look how small these are i'm not sure like who's drinking out of this but i plan to decorate with these because we already have some wine glasses and these are so small with this day and age Mm -mm, this is not enough <laughs> this th those are so tiny but they're a nice cute green smoked glass color i really love those the next item is this lamp it looks very dated i know it it actually could, it could look cute because it's like this cute coral pink color and it could go with some i guess some themes of homes but it worked it was less than ten dollars it still came with the bulb <laughs> surprisingly and it, I loved it I had an eye for this and I was like you know what it's in perfect condition I can upcycle this and turn it into something that we can use to decorate we have recessed lighting but I'm planning to get some lamps just to kind of decorate with it definitely gives a different vibe and add some dimension to your place when you're decorating I guess I've already purchased a new lampshade for it so the bottom part i am going to give a little makeover it's like the coral gloss color but i want to switch it to maybe a charcoal like stone so, and then the last one this thing is kind of big but it's essentially like a poster you guys can see it looks like a b or boobs whatever you want to call it or interpret it as but I, we really like this piece because it was huge it was simple black and white and we need some things to put in our room on the walls so we saw this it did not do it justice this plastic frame this plastic black cheap looking frame did not do it justice so we want to give it new life and yeah put it on our wall and decorate the walls because our, our walls in our room are kind of bare we don't really have anything that was it it was pretty short and sweet and not too many things but i hope you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up if you like the home related decor stuff give this video a thumbs down if you like the old christina whatever you want whatever content you guys want to see that's how i'll know thumbs up thumbs down or leave it in the comments below also in the comments below let me know what are your local thrift stores what are your go-to shops when you're looking for home decor and furniture and stuff like that and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so every time i upload you will be notified and that was about it so thank you guys for watching this video i I don't know. It just feels good to be back to recording and being on here on YouTube. So I'll leave it at that. Love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one.